In this video, I'm going to show you two methods on how to convert a horizontal 16x9 video into a vertical 9x16 video. This is especially useful if you're looking to convert horizontal content into short form vertical content for TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts. I'll be using Premiere Pro to demonstrate this, but you can accomplish what I'm about to teach you in any video editing software. To get started, I have an example talking head video on the timeline. The first method to convert my horizontal video into vertical is by going into Sequence, Sequence Settings, and changing the frame size to 1080 horizontal and 1920 vertical. The rest of the default settings don't need to be changed in this case, and we can click OK. And if this message pops up, you can click OK again. Now that we have the correct aspect ratio for mobile, we can jump over to effect controls and adjust the scale and positioning accordingly. The second method, which I can demonstrate in this new sequence that I have ready, begins with right or double clicking the clip and clicking scale to frame size. Now the full horizontal video is in the frame. It may appear small, but remember, this will be viewed on mobile phones. To get rid of all the empty black space, first duplicate the video by holding down the Option key and dragging upwards. Now make sure the video that's on the bottom is highlighted by clicking it, and then increase its scale value until it fills up all the empty space. Next, go over to the Effects panel and search for the word Blur and drag the Gaussian Blur effect onto the clip at the bottom. Let me know in the comments if it's Gaussian Blur or Gaussian Blur, because I've heard them both being used. Now that the effect has been added, jump back to Effect Controls and increase the blurriness of the bottom clip to your liking. So you can choose between cropping the video to fill up the entire vertical screen, or displaying the full horizontal video and filling out the blank space. It's all situational, and there's really no right answer. From here, I suggest continuing on to either this video for the best vertical video export settings, or this video on how to create an infinite loop for your short-form content to boost retention. I'll see you there.